The first episode of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes anime has already premiered on July 1st. There are seven prisoners from different eras that have been captured by few and imprisoned on the prison planet. The only way to get off the planet is to gather the Dragon Balls and wish for it. Each episode will be an adaptation of Yoshitaka Nagayama's manga. We'll discuss, based on our sources, what's planned for the next episode, so beware, there will be spoilers. Before we begin, subscribe to CBR and ring that bell to join our notification squad so you never miss a video. Without further ado, here are some SDBH Anime Episode 2 spoilers. Alright then, we'll play by your rules, let's go! Spoilers from official SDBH site. To translate the spoilers on the website, it states Episode 2, Goku Goes Berserk, The Evil Saiyan's Rampage. Goku and company are helpless against the evil Saiyan, who is shrouded in an overwhelming, large, sinister chi. Goku becomes enveloped by this evil Saiyan's chi and runs wild, but an unexpected savior comes to the rescue. Someone not to be trifled with, boy. Yeah. Bojack. The first episode of the SDBH anime ends with Trunks being released from his prison. We think this is due to Few opening the doors intentionally so that there's a confrontation between Cooler and Trunks. Remember, Few wants to accelerate the interaction so that there's more fighting, which means more entertainment for him. Cooler asks Trunks for the Dragon Ball, but Trunks doesn't have one. We have reason to believe that the person carrying the Dragon Ball in this area, where Trunks and Cooler are, is Bojack. We know that Bojack is one of the prisoners because it has been shown on the official website. He's also carrying the two-star Dragon Ball. For those of you who don't know, Bojack is a space pirate who appeared in the ninth DBZ movie. He was designed by Akira Toriyama, but isn't canon to the main timeline since he's from a movie. His race is called Hera. He and his soldiers did a lot of bad things in the universe a very long time ago and thus was imprisoned by the four Kaios, including King Kai, in something like the Phantom Zone. When King Kai died during the Cell Saga, Bojack and his gang were freed. Interestingly, Future Trunks has fought Bojack in the movie. If the Trunks we know recognizes Bojack, this would confirm that this Future Trunks was the same one in the movie. In the movie, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan punches right through Bojack. In the SDBH manga, the exact same stance and art was used, but Gohan was replaced by Trunks. In this case, we would call this a homage, which is done frequently by artists to reference previous scenes. For example, the famous Yamcha pose was done again in Super as a homage. It's unclear if the animation team will do the same thing as shown in the manga, since Super Saiyan Rage is not in the manga but in the anime. Cooler eventually kills Bojack with a death beam since Trunks' guard was off. While all of this was happening, Goku and Vegeta have run into… Cumber. As we discussed in our last video, we don't know much about Cumber. He's a Saiyan captured by Few. He's wearing a straight jacket so Few can control him. When Cumber meets Goku and Vegeta, he powers up with a sinister key, instantly forcing Goku and Vegeta to both go Super Saiyan Blue. While he's wearing the straight jacket, he can't use his arms, so he creates hands just from his chi alone, acting as shadow hands. Eventually, he breaks out of his straight jacket. Goku and Vegeta eventually have to fuse into Vegito Blue with Kaioken to fight him. This will be the first time we've ever seen Vegito use Kaioken on top of Blue. This won't happen until Episode 3, though, so don't get too hyped right now. It's also unclear whether the manga will show us Kaioken, or will it stay anime exclusive? The author of the manga isn't Toyotaro, so anything is possible. Still, it means Cumber is quite strong as a base Saiyan. What could be the reason for his strength? Well, he is Few's best experiment. What does this mean? In Xenoverse 2, Few was known to be collecting energy from time rifts. He used only a bit of his energy to power up warriors. He may be doing the same thing with Cumber. Few enjoys these types of experiments. This is the primary reason why he lured Goku and Vegeta to fight Cumber. Cumber has both the 5-star and 6-star Dragon Balls. So, Super Saiyan Blue Goku attacks Cumber, but Cumber envelops him with his own sinister chi, which causes a change in Goku, turning him back into base and then transforming into… <laughs> Super Saiyan Berserk Goku. Now don't confuse this with Berserk Kale, which is completely different. Surprisingly, Goku will overpower Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta in this form. He'll attack his friends, including Mai. Just when Mai is about to get hit by a Chi Blast from Goku, Trunks deflects it out of nowhere. However, Trunks is no match for Goku. In the anime, it's unknown if we'll see Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta or Super Saiyan Rage Trunks face against Goku, but the manga doesn't have it. The handcuffs that Trunks is wearing is also sealing off most of his powers, so we wouldn't be able to see the Rage transformation anyways. So if Trunks is not the savior stated in the spoilers, who is? Surprisingly, it's… My brother was a pest. I would have killed him myself sooner or later. 
Golden Cooler. We've seen firsthand the wickedness of Frieza's family. Frieza was the prodigal son of his race. His father spoiled him a lot. Cooler was designed by Akira Toriyama, but he isn't Ganon to the main timeline. He is Frieza's older brother that appears in the Dragon Ball Z movies 5 and 6. Unlike his brother, Cooler has a fifth transformation. According to an old V-Jump July 2004 edition, his battle power is 470 million, which places him approximately four times stronger than Frieza was on Namek. This is the only battle power we have for Cooler, unfortunately. In the SDBH anime, however, he's gotten a huge upgrade. Copying his brother, he's obtained the Golden Cooler. While we don't think this is very original, it's still cooler. Get it? Perhaps a platinum or silver would have been more creative, though. It's unknown whether few captured this version of Cooler since he's a lot stronger. Maybe he was captured just before his defeat in Movie 5, which caused him to train just like Frieza. Golden Cooler will fight Super Saiyan Berserk and will defeat him even when Super Saiyan Vegeta failed to do so. He'll use his signature supernova attack. Cooler can gather chi in his index finger in seconds, much faster than his brother. <laughs> I'll take some pride in the fact that it took Beerus the Destroyer to kill me. That's all we know about Episode 2 of the SDBH anime, given the sources on the website and the manga. So what do you think of the story so far? Do you like it or hate it? Let us know in the comments section below, and remember to subscribe to CBR for the latest news. Thanks for watching.